Welcome to today's edition of the AII, watching stock news, deal tracker, and advancements in artificial intelligence. A report from Research and Markets indicates that the autonomous vehicle market will reach $172.3 billion U.S. by 2024. An excerpt from the report summary reads, quote, Autonomous vehicles are poised to invoke a revolution in the automobile industry, including public transportation systems, car rental and sharing systems, vehicle leasing and ownership, industrial transportation, and automotive insurance practices and systems. The degree of autonomy in vehicles is measured levels from zero, fully human-operated, to five, fully automated system, with evolution from levels one through four consisting of an autopilot system combined with some level of human control or intervention capability. Autonomous vehicles are anticipated to become the foundation of transportation as a service globally, end quote. Intel Corporation, which is traded on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol INTC, recently responded to last month's executive order on maintaining American leadership in artificial intelligence from the White House. Among other things, Intel called for the need to expand on the foundations laid by the initiative. Quote, It's time for the U.S. to bet big on AI by building on the executive order to expand a national AI strategy that includes specific measures to support and promote AI development and deployment. A comprehensive national AI strategy would earmark funding and resources for AI research and development, outline clear goals and accountability mechanisms, identify and remove barriers, drive public and private development and adoption of AI, and outline a program to mitigate negative or unintended consequences. A national strategy building on the aims of the executive order will facilitate and focus current U.S. efforts, paving the way for the future of AI." End quote. Accenture, which is traded on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol ACN, has introduced a Digital Identity and Access Management, or IAM, capability to help organizations reduce the risk and costs associated with the over-provisioning of accounts tied to a user's identity. Still awaiting patent, the IAM streamlines access privilege management and increases the accuracy and speed of near-real-time updates to user privileges using AI and machine learning to contextualize identity decisions and continuously keep up with ever-shifting changes to user access rights. And Qualcomm, which is traded on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol QCOM, is aiming to hire an additional 200 R&D engineers in Taiwan this year, according to a report from DigiTimes. According to the piece, Qualcomm is, quote, scheduled to start operating three innovation centers in Taiwan later this year as part of its efforts to collaborate with the local businesses and academies on the commercial development of 5G, AI, and other technologies, end quote. And that's it for today's AII. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products or services or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss of investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Spotify, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio.com, and Google Play Music. 